Project number four. Hello everyone. In this project, we take a look at how we can control the speed, direction of the rotation of a three-phase induction motor. We wish to develop a PLC control program for tasks per wiring diagram on the right. Pressing I0.0 starts the motor in clockwise position at low speed. I0.1 ramps it up to maximum. Pressing I0.2 starts the motor in counterclockwise position at low speed. Pressing I0.3 ramps it up to maximum. To change direction, turn off motor with I0.4, then restart in any direction after 5 second delay. I0.5 or circuit breaker input immediately shuts down motor upon activation. Q0.5 blinks during the 5 second delay. Let's now evaluate the performance of the implemented PLC control program. According to the PLC wiring diagram on the right, we wish to develop a PLC control program based on the following conditions. Case 1. When I0.0 push button is depressed, The motor is gonna turn on on clockwise with a slow speed. In the same time, when I depress I0.1, the speed is gonna go to faster or maximum speed. So right now, motor is off. This light is red, means it is off motor is off. I like to check the first condition. So I come here and turn it on and off for a second. Notice that motor turned on. This light became green. Motor is on clockwise direction and it is on. So to go to the next speed, faster speed, I have to click on I0.1 input. So I come here and do that. See, right now it is clockwise and faster speed. So one of the conditions was that while the motor is rotating in one direction, the speed of rotation can be changed with the depression of any related push button, but to change the direction, it has to be stopped with I0.4 first, and only after a delay of five seconds, it can be turned on in any direction. So I have to turn it off here. See, I, I hit on I0.2 to make it counterclockwise like this. You see, it doesn't case. It doesn't work. So I have to turn it off. I come here, I hit on I0.4. So it is on five seconds period. Now, after end of this five seconds, I can go ahead and turn it on in let's say counterclockwise. So I hit I0.2. So right now it's counterclockwise direction and or rotation and a slow, a slow speed. So I can go to faster speed like this. Notice that this block, this network is active now. All right. Okay, so, and now again, I cannot go to uh, clockwise direction. See, I come here, I come here, I, do, I can do nothing. I have to turn it off, so I turn it off right now. And during this, I cannot do any good. All right, 
Now motor is off and this light is on. Red means motor is off. Uh, it's sitting and doing nothing. So I go ahead uh, test the uh, next case which is I0.5 circuit breaker. This is one of the inputs to the PLC. So when something happens related to power supply of the motor or mechanical problems of it, this uh, circuit breaker is going to be activated. And that is not a, a good time for motor to uh, be on, so uh, PS is going to turn it off right away. So I go ahead and turn it on in uh, counterclockwise slow speed. And now I tap on I0.5, I0.5, see it is, it's turned off completely. After five seconds, it's turned off. So motor is right now is ready to, you know, do the next job. Of course, I zero dot four is off lamp right now is activated. Okay, now I go ahead and I like to show you the timing. So I go ahead and turn it on. So motor is on, so I want to go to faster speed. Right now nothing, but from faster speed going to lower speed, right now these blocks are activated. This block is activated. Motor, clockwise, faster speed. Okay, now I go ahead and go to a slow speed. See, that's the time that this part should start blinking and time, timing is also has to be activated. So I go to clockwise fast, clockwise this slow here. See, right now this is timing and this block is also activated. Motor is off now. And this is Q04. All right. This is it. I tested the program versus all the given conditions to make sure that the program is written right. I hope you enjoyed this explanation and this problem. I see you in the next educational video.